Hey, in just a moment, I'm going to play a recording for a live workshop I did, how to do self-hypnosis so you don't need discipline. And this live workshop is about 90 minutes long, and it's going to teach you how to hypnotize yourself so you can get more confidence, so you can make more money, so you can lose weight or get in great shape, so that you don't need self-discipline for any of this stuff. Your unconscious mind just drives you towards it. So I usually charge $97 or between $147 and $97 for a ticket to get on these workshops. Or my clients who are part of my Transcend Business Accelerator, they get them for free. But I figured I'll just put one on YouTube so that you can see what it's about. You can see what you get from these. And hopefully next time I have a workshop, you're going to buy a ticket and you'll show up and we can do some transformational work there. There are two free resources that you can get as well by clicking in the comments or in the descriptions, which I give away in the workshop. They're very helpful. One of them is 20 Millionaire Entrepreneur Hypnosis Scripts. The other one is a self-hypnosis script kind of template, so you can create your own hypnosis scripts to create your own hypnosis to make whatever changes you want. If you want them, just click the link in the comments. It's a Google link. Just request access. So I know you've come from YouTube. I'll give you access. And there you go. You got it. This is Mark Dama, high performance coach for seven and eight figure entrepreneurs. Use this powerful tool for good. In Florida, Yosef, he was like, oh, I'm in Orlando. Oh, I'm in Dotina, Daytona. You're in the land. And I know exactly where the land is because one of my best friends is from the land. No way. Yeah. Michael Morelli is his name. Really? One of my very best friends is from the land. How did you figure this out? Well, you got your, you, when you bought, I get your address when you bought the uh, workshop. I was like, dude's in the land. Why is he not repping? You got to be repping the land yourself. Come Nobody on. Knows the land. Nobody knows the land. Small, small town. I know the land, my own best friend. And I get, um, sorry guys, Yosef is in Florida, not too far from me. I, um, I actually buy my meat from right around there too. I buy like half a cow at a time from um, a farm right by there. That's awesome. Yeah, that's, that's really awesome. <laughs> um, right. Maybe you'll hit most of me in person. There we go. Yeah, I'd love to see your studio actually. Yeah, absolutely. Um, James, it's great to see you, James, out in Georgia. Uh, we've got Travis in St. Not in, not in, I almost said St. George, in Salt Lake. Travis in Salt Lake, and we got Chris Lewis in New York. What up, Chris? Awesome. So, well, let's get into it. Let's get into Actually, before we do, before we do, hey, Pietro. Pietro's joining us as well. I don't know where Pietro's from, so we'll wait till he... Uh, unmute yourself, Pietro. Actually, I think I do Hello. know where I'm from. Are you from Peru? Yeah, I'm from Peru. Hello. Are you in Peru right now? Yeah. Awesome, right man. Awesome. So, um, since we've got a small, fairly small class today, which I am baffled by, I can't believe this is such a small class. I'm absolutely baffled by it because hypnosis is the literal cheat code to whatever you want in life it is the cheat code and maybe i'm just like explaining it wrong maybe i'm not like selling it right or something but the amount of entrepreneurs who tell me they're stuck i mean not taking the actions they know they should take and you know they want to achieve this goal or that goal or another but they're just not doing the things they need to do this really is the answer so i i don't know if it Maybe it's me, maybe people like have this idea of hypnosis of something crazy or weird, like people clucking on stages or something, or maybe they're, they're scared of it. I don't know, but I'm, I'm baffled. I need to do a lot better job selling this because it, it is the cheat code. So before we start, I'd like to just have a quick round the room to find out what got you interested in this? Why do you want to do it? So let's start with you, Yosef. What got me interested in this is, uh, first of all, I, I, I 
didn't know this existed. So maybe don't, people don't know that this exists. I only knew this existed because you told me when I hopped on a call. So uh, what triggered me right away is because I love this. And I definitely think this is something that's huge and it can help a lot of people out. And uh, I think I've followed you for a while now online. I've seen your stuff. I've seen your discipline. I definitely seen that your stuff works. So it definitely is a, a proof to what you're teaching. And uh, yeah, definitely got me interested. As soon as I heard about it, I signed up immediately. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. All right. Thank you, Yossa. Uh Pietro, how about you? Uh, yeah, hey, everyone. So I have a um, business helping uh, leaders and entrepreneurs to focus better themselves on what they're doing. I've already taken uh, a big course talking about the subconscious and how to deal with things that are there in the back end, sort of, so to say. And this found it amazing because I also am battling a lot with procrastination with a lot of projects or reaching out to more people. So I think hell, it sounds amazing for me and for my clients potentially. Okay, fantastic. Cool. Um, Jane, uh, uh, who else? Got time for one more? Joseph, Pietro, blah, blah, blah. How about you, Travis? Yeah, man. Um, I think beyond what you've been saying about the power of hypnosis in overcoming procrastination, it could even, for me, I'm looking to overcome mental blocks, right? Like I'm looking to branch out as, you know, to doing something new with, uh, out the prospect or guarantee of making money or blending my old skills with new skills. And those are the things that I think have self hypnosis is going to hopefully help me just to burst through that self sabotaging mental blocks that I have. All right. Okay, great. So let's get into it then. So, um, how to do self hypnosis so you don't need discipline. And I've just lost everybody on the screen. So let me get everyone back and then we'll go. All right. Can everyone see my screen? So this is me and Dr. Richard Bandler in Orlando, Yosef. Um, Yosef, I found out Yosef's dad does hypno hypnotherapy too. And he also learned from Dr. Richard Bandler, who is the founder, one of the co-founders of NLP. And the funny thing is I went out to see Dr. Richard Band Bandler at his event in 2017 in Orlando wanting to learn how to do self-hypnosis. And I was disappointed to find out that at the time, Dr. Bandler wasn't teaching how to do self-hypnosis. Um, however, one of the attendees was very uh, adept at self-hypnosis and he told me he did it every single night. So he taught me the technique that I'm going to be teaching you today. So what you're going to be learning today is a combination of self-hypnosis that I learned from the guy who learned from Bandler and also um, some of the hypnosis techniques from Dr. George Pratt, who if you've been to any of my workshops, I talk to about him quite a lot. Um, he's a hypnotist for millionaires and billionaires. He is our class a mentor of mine. I study his work. I've had a session with him before and... Uh, his stuff is very, very effective. So I'll share with you how, I'll share with you why I am so convicted about the power of self hypnosis. So when I came back from that event in Orlando, knowing this new technique, I had an ayahuasca event that I was supposed to be putting together about six weeks after when I got back to LA. And it was something I was just procrastinating on. I just, I didn't, it was a pain in the ass to put together. If anyone's ever put an event together, you know, it's an absolute pain in the ass to put an event together. Um, I wasn't really going to make money on it. It was more of a thing just to like, my clients were asking for it. I knew a shaman in Los Angeles. I, I wasn't going to make any money from it. It was just something to help out the community. And you know, it's kind of illegal to do an ayahuasca event in Los Angeles too. So I wasn't that thrilled about doing it. There was a lot of things that were making me procrastinate on it, that, that being included. 
Anyway, a week before this event had to happen, I still hadn't booked a location. I needed 15 entrepreneurs to like break even and make it all good. I didn't have one. Um, I had the shaman because I already told him we were going to do it. So he was hitting me up every day like, hey, when are we going to do this? And I was just straight up procrastinating. Has anyone here ever said yes if you've ever procrastinated before? If you can, okay. Yeah. Was, I was totally procrastinating. So one night I got into bed and I was like, man, maybe I should try this self-hypnosis thing. I'd not, I hadn't tried it yet. I was like, maybe I should try it. So I was like, all right, let me, let me just try this. So I got myself into a trance, which is a, it's a weird word for something that really isn't that weird. I'll speak, I'll tell you what that is in a, in a moment. I got myself into a trance and then I started talking to my, myself, basically, <laughs> on, on, on what I wanted it, what I wanted me to do. So I was like, Mark, when you wake up, you're going to take massive action to get 15 entrepreneurs into this ayahuasca event ASAP. You will book a place at this price. You will do this and this and this and this. And you will have it all complete within 24 hours. So and I was like, all right, cool. Let's, let's see what happens. I went to sleep. The next morning was one of the weirdest, the next day was one of the weirdest days of my entire life. So I normally have like a quite an elaborate routine of, you know, waking up, going to the gym, meditating, you know, blah, 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 the stuff that I like to do. But I just woke up and I didn't do any of that stuff. I do, I do remember going and getting a bulletproof coffee and then I was just on the phone. I picked up my phone, hit the phone. And I just remember kind of my body and mind doing stuff while I was just watching myself doing it. I was just pounding the phones, texting people, calling people, um, booking. I didn't, have an, I didn't have an assistant at the time. I do now. Booking the Airbnb. I was just in massive action from like 6.30 a.m. all the way till 8 p.m. And at the end of 8 p.m., I don't think I had it completely booked, but I had, I think I had like seven or eight payments taken on for the event. I, it, and it was just a whirlwind of action watching myself do it. And I didn't get anything else done that day. Nothing else else happened except getting the um, event sorted out. And then over the next couple of days, I had it booked out 15 entrepreneurs and it was a fantastic, I actually think I had more than 15 in the end because some people like wanted to bring their friends, et cetera. And it, it was booked out. It was fantastic. That was the day when I really, when I realized the power of self-hypnosis. Um, then I kind of didn't use it that often again. I, you know, have anyone ever done that? Found something that works really well and they just stop doing it? Yeah. So kind of just stop using it. Stop doing it. Right. And <laughs> I, I was working with some of my clients, like my one-on-one -on -one clients. Um, this is recently over the next last six months or so. And um, for one of, one of my clients, I, I, I said, look, uh, he was he just procrastinating on so much. It was really annoying me. Okay, as a coach, I want my clients to win. That's my job, right? When, when, and I've got my customers, I've got customers here. Chris Chico, hey, good to see you. You know, um, Travis, James, I, I got my customers on here right now. Like when entrepreneurs pay me, they're paying me to help them create a massive business result. And I take my job absolutely serious. I really do. And I, I, I I really do my absolute best to help the entrepreneur achieve what they want to achieve. Nothing makes me feel better than seeing one of my entrepreneurs smash a revenue goal. I remember Arnold Schwarzenegger once started, compared the pump to having an orgasm. Okay, you, you, you in an interview, oh, the pump's like, for me, it's an entrepreneur smashing their revenue goals is comparable to an orgasm for me. That's, that's what it is for me. Anyway, so, so um, anyway, he was kept procrastinating you know, all the time and he was frustrating me so much. So I was like, listen, I'm going to make you a hypnotherapy track. Just make sure you listen to that. If you don't do anything else we're working on, just listen to this track. So I made him a hypnotherapy track and he started listening to it. 
and I watched over about two weeks to a month, his personality transformed. He transformed from being like kind of too nice, too nice to like hold his team to a high standard, too nice to tell his team that the revenue goal wasn't 500K a month. It was actually a million a month. So let's get at it. He was too nice to fire low performers. He was just, he was, a, he was kind of a people pleaser. Can anyone relate to that? Well, over two weeks to a month, the dude just transformed. He just transformed into an actual leader, a CEO. He created a vision for his employees. He enrolled his employees on, on a million a month. Now the goal was a million a month, not 500K, it's a million. He, he, um, he enrolled them all on. He fired the bad apples that weren't a good culture fit, that were dragging it down, even though they were still friends. He didn't want to fire them before because they were friends and been together a long time. Fired. Done. And the guy's over doubled his revenue. Um, he, I've been working with him four months and he's, uh, he's over doubled his revenue in like a two month stint. And he's transformed. He's a leader. He's completely transformed. So anyway, after rolling this out for a bunch of my clients and seeing them transform and seeing them hitting results, I was like, I need to make this damn thing for myself. I'm not listening to them. I'm not doing it for myself. So, so I better get, get on it too. So a few months ago, I created my own hypnotic script for myself. And you guys are going to learn how to do it today. You're going to learn how to create your own hypnotic scripts today. So I created this hypnotic script for myself, and it was aligned with um, what I call my alchemy of self. So put your hands up if you're aware of what the alchemy of self is. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So those who aren't aware, um, it's something I learned from one of my past clients, Sam Ovens, and it's essentially you get extremely clear on the goals that you want to hit and the person you want to become. Okay. And it's that guides your decisions, that guides your self-identity. The point of it is to change your self-image, to change your self-image to the person who can achieve all those goals. So I created my, hypno, um, my hypnosis scripts aligned with my alchemy of self. And then I started listening to it before I went to bed at night, just before I fell asleep, just put it in my ears and kind of drifted off. And after about five days, one of, one of my goals, I should say, one of my goals is to get to 210 pounds weight and 10% um, body fat. All right. I'm six foot two. At the time, I was 223 pounds and about 20% body fat-ish. Okay. So this is a goal that I've had on my alchemy self for two years. Two years. And I've been kind of working to it. I mean, I work out pretty, pretty regularly. I eat pretty healthily, but I wasn't really moving the needle. Can anyone relate where they've got a goal and they're kind of doing it, but they, you know, they, they, you're doing some of it, but you ain't really need, moving the needle. Yeah. Right. So I was like that for two years. After five days of listening to this hypnosis trick, this script, my own, that I would just listen to before I went to sleep, my own voice. Just something shifted. One day I woke up, I dusted off my old weighing scales. I've got like a body fat. It tells you your body fat percentage as well. Okay, some, old, some weighing scales. I just found it in the house, dusted it off. Didn't have any batteries in. I put the batteries in and just put it out next to the toilet in my bathroom so I could start weighing myself every day. Okay, that's a sign of, Hey, we're getting serious now. The next thing I did is I went to and got an app. I used Carb Manager and I started putting down what, how much weight I wanted to lose, putting down how much protein I need to eat, how many carbs, how many fats. And then I started recording my food each day. Now we're getting real serious. Then that same day, I started weighing all of my food and applying it to the app. Since then, I have lost, like, I started, started taking creatine again. I started training way harder, making sure I hit my sessions, wake up in the morning. Dude, I've just basically been on a tear. I would go as far as saying I am as absolutely obsessed 
absolutely obsessed with getting down to 210 pounds and 10% body fat. I'm thinking about it all the time. I'm absolutely obsessed. Why? Because I started listening to this hypnosis script at night. It's something I've been wanting to do for two years. I haven't been doing it, but the hypnosis just kicked it into overdrive. Can, I, can you guys see how this could work for you? Yeah. So that's, that's why I'm really big on this because it works. I'm seeing it work for me in my life. I'm seeing it work in my client's life and I'm certain it's going to work for you. So what the heck is hypnosis anyway and how does it work? Well, Jonathan Haidt, the positive psychologist, explains it like this. Basically, you've got, we call it two minds. You've got your conscious mind and your unconscious mind. Your conscious mind is what you're listening to me right now. The stuff that you're aware of. You're aware of my voice. You're aware of what you can see on the screen. But you probably aren't aware of the temperature until I mention the temperature. Now you become aware of the temperature. You probably wasn't aware of the feeling of your feet on the floor until I mention the feeling of your feet on the floor. Now you become aware of it. So whatever's in your current awareness, we can think of as your conscious mind. Whatever's not in your current awareness, we can think about your unconscious mind. And Jonathan Haidt likens it like an elephant and the rider. The rider being your conscious mind who has an illusion of control. The rider thinks he's in control. And then you have the elephant, which is your subconscious mind. Now, I don't know how these figures, how people have figured this out, how psychologists figure this out, but all I can find on the internet is that 5% of your actions and behaviors are from your, from your conscious mind and 95% is driven by your unconscious mind. I don't know how they figured out 5%, 95% could be bullshit, but I do know like anybody who's wanted to achieve a goal and find themselves not actually taking action or procrastinating, you're probably aware that there is something else other than your conscious mind working here. That's the big ass elephant, your unconscious. Because if the rider wants to go left, but the elephant wants to go right, guess which way you're going to end up going? Just as if Yosef wants to start doing, building his personal brand and doing videos every day, but his elephant don't want to do it, guess what Yosef's going to end up doing? Sitting on his ass doing, doing anything else but that. Are you with me? Are you with me, guys? <laughs> that's, that's what happens here. So what we have to do is we have to oh, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. All right. Yeah, we got to figure out how to communicate with this elephant to make it do what the rider wants to do. That is essentially hypnosis. Getting, talking to your elephant as a rider and getting your elephant to do what you want it to do. For me, it was to get, down to 210 pounds, 10% body fat. Okay, I've also got financial goals too, which you better believe I'm telling my elephant what financial goals we better be hitting. You got it? And that's what we need to do. We've got to talk to it. So there are 10 ways to talk to your elephant. We're going to go through these 10 ways. I'm going to, te- I'm going to tell you like the step-by-step how we do hypnosis, and then you're going to try it yourself because this is a workshop. We're not just here to consume. We're here to do stuff. So you're actually going to try it yourself. You get to experience it. You can ask me any questions afterwards, and then you're good to go. You can run loose, you know, tell your elephant whatever you want it to do. Okay, you can, you have that power. So what are the 10 ways? So the first one is whenever you're talking to your elephant, so this is once we're ready to do self-hypnosis, we got to get into a trance. I'm going to teach you that in a little bit. It's the easiest thing ever. Okay, but once you're in a trance, which essentially means you're extremely relaxed, okay? You're in that situation where you're in that um, state of where you're not quite asleep. You're awake and aware, but your body's kind of asleep. You're like paralyzed. You ever been in that dream state where you can't really move your body, but you're aware, you're kind of awake, but you, your body just feels super heavy and like you can't really move it. But if you really wanted to move it, you could. 
that is being in a trance. That's where we want to get you into a super relaxed state. Because when you're extremely relaxed, your elephant's down to listen. If you're all tense and stressed, then the elephant's got his own thing that he wants to do. So once you're in that relaxed state, the first one way to speak to your subconscious mind is with clear authoritative instructions. We call it direct commands. So for example, increase your focus now. Generate innovative solutions effortless, effortlessly. Double your productivity immediately. Just telling it what you want it to do. If you remember in my example, when I told you about the, um, the ayahuasca retreat, I told my, my direct command was, you get, get 15 entrepreneurs to buy a, a ticket to this event <laughs> in the next 24 hours, you know, be direct and be specific. Okay. Direct and specific. So that's one way. Okay. Let's sell another way. Oh, wrong way. Bam, bam, bam. Another way, use present tense affirmations. So state things in the present, like my business generates X amount per month or year. Tell it what it needs to be doing in the present tense, right? So if you're wanting to do 100000 a month, my business generates $100,000 per month. Okay, if you want to do a million a month, whatever, or, or if you like to do it in years, whatever, let it know. The more specific you can be, the better. Okay, let it know what we're doing here. My business attracts ideal clients easily. I make decisive actions that lead to profits. That's, that's a great one. I make decisive actions that lead to profits. Number three, use positive language. So if you want to change something about yourself, like procrastination, what you won't say is, don't procrastinate. Your elephant doesn't understand what that means. Your elephant just understands procrastinate. Okay, he doesn't really understand the negative before it. Okay, so you would, instead you say, take immediate action on priorities. Okay, it needs to be stated in the positive. Okay, instead of saying, stop fearing failure, your elephant will be like, fear failure. Okay, I'll fear failure. No, no, no. You see, embrace every opportunity for growth and learning, okay? Or failure is just whatever. You, got it, you get it. Positive language. Four, another way is use emotional language. So if your elephant really responds to emotions and to images. So you can say things like, feel the excitement as your business thrives. Or Yosef might say, Feel the excitement as you shoot your new video. You know, um, experience deep satisfaction as you achieve your goals. Enjoy the confidence of being a market leader. And by the way, I, I'm going to, since you guys are like my inner circle, since there's only like 10 of nine of us here, um, that's one of the things I say in my hypnosis that you're a leader in the, in I'm a leader in my industry, which is coaching, a business coach. I say I'm a leader in my industry. I'm a leader in the industry and, um, I listen to it every night and I got to tell you that my like confidence and conviction has skyrocket skyrocketed since I would even say my innovation, my, my level of innovation put me up against any coach. My level of innovation, I think is next level, but it's because I'm telling myself this over and over again. So that this is a powerful one. All right. For you. Like I said, your elephant responds really well to feelings and to images. So you can use visualization as well. Okay. We've done a whole, um, I've done a whole other workshop on visualization, but it's also something you can mix in with your, um, hypnosis, giving you vivid mental images of what you want. So if you want to see yourself confidently closing high value deals or visualize your bankers, account growing exponentially stacking on top of each other. I have a friend, his name is, um, gosh, what's his name? Don't come to me. You know, when you can see the person's face and like, you've known him for years. Yeah. He'll, he'll come to me. He's a, he's an English guy. He's actually half American, half English. And, um, he, he's a stand up comedian 
But for a long time, he was an email marketing expert. I think he sold those email marketing. And he would boast how much money he would manifest. And he would just get like $10,000 checks out of anywhere. He'd win the lottery all the time. He'd just be making money all the time. And he became quite known for it. So he eventually shared what he did. And he told me that what he would do before he went to bed at night, he imagined walking into a soccer stadium. So his Liverpool football club is his, his team, right? He would imagine walking into Anfield, which is Liverpool's soccer stadium. And I hate saying that because I'm a Manchester United fan and Liverpool just absolutely pandered 3-0 this past weekend. So it pains me to even mention the name. Anyway, um, he imagines walking into the stadium, putting up his hands and all the crowd throwing money at him. So just wads of hundreds, like checks of them, just like millions of dollars or pounds coming in at him from all different angles. And he says he imagines it every night. And he's like, I mean, the dude's pretty, he does make pretty good money. He's got a fat ass house in Idaho that he bought out straight and he, he makes good money. And he's like, dude, I get sent money all the time. I, I get random money coming in my account all the time. And he swears it's by because he's doing this visualization. So, um, you know, take that for whatever it's worth. And I'll, I'll, um, I'll remember his name before we, before we do Ian Stanley, Ian Stanley is his name, Ian Stanley. All right. He's on Instagram. He is actually really funny as well. So number six, metaphors and analogies. So if you're doing, let's say you're, you've got yourself really relaxed and you're doing your hypnosis, you're giving direct, you're giving direct commands, but let's say you start to feel a little bit of resistance in it. You just don't feel quite right. Like your elephant is like, ah, you know, F you, I don't believe you. <laughs> I don't want any of this, all right? Well, what you can do is you can use metaphors and analogies to get past any resistance. So saying things like your business growth is as natural and unstoppable as a flowing river. Or your mind is like a powerful computer processing solutions effortlessly. It loves metaphors. That's one way you can talk to it. Y'all with me? Is this making sense so far? Yep. Yeah. All right, great. So another thing, you can also future pace. So before we talked about how you can say results in the present tense, like my business is generating blah, 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 blah. You can also future pace. And that is project the subconscious into a successful future. For example, as you continue to apply these strategies, notice how easily success comes to you. Imagine yourself one year from now, reflecting on the incredible growth you've achieved. And what's really funny, guys, because I, I do this. I, do, I listen six nights out of the week, I'm, I'm doing self-hypnosis just because I found it so powerful. You know, one night I'm not because whatever, my, I stay up too late, you know, with my wife or anything, you know, whatever, you know, too much info. Something happens at night, you know, sometimes, sometimes I just fall asleep. I don't do it. But it's funny because once you practice this a lot, you'll, you'll start to feel when your elephant is like nodding in agreement and like taking it, like taking this on. But you, get, you can kind of realize when you're just listening to it and it's maybe not sinking in as much. And then other times you'll listen to it and you'll, you'll notice your elephant like, yeah, yeah, that is right. And there is like a subtle shift that you'll feel. Um, and I, and I bring that up because I've been doing some future pacing, um, recently, um, kind of like this one, as you continue to apply these strategies and notice how easily success comes to you. And my elephant's like, yeah, success is coming to me really easily. <laughs> so it, it's, it's, uh, it's great. Yeah. Let me know when you do it, when it happens to you, cause it does happen. All right. Repetition. Reinforce key messages through repetition. You can repeat the same thing over and over in your hypnotic script. In fact, it is a successful technique um, to work with your, un with your unconscious. You are successful. You are proper. You are innovative. Just reading, just putting it over and over again, like a kind of like an affirmation. 
Um, it does work. It does work. So please use repetition. And then personal relevance. Make it as specific to you as possible. So I recommend you use your first name. So for example, when at the ayahuasca ceremony, I said, Mark, wake up and get 15 entrepreneurs to come to your event. Like, give you some usernames. Um, as the CEO of your company, use your specific um, revenue goal. Okay, if you go online and get like a hypnosis script, they're going to be very general, which is, which, which is fine, but you make it more specific to you. I found that's why the alchemy of cells hypnosis um, I'm doing with my clients is working so well because it's completely specific to them and what they want. And number 10, permissive language. Allow the subconscious to work in its own way. So one of the most famous, actually the most famous hypnotist of all time, probably none of you have ever heard of, maybe yourself because his dad is um, a hyp hypnotist. His name is Milton Erickson. Okay. Oh, James has heard of Milton Erickson. Nice. Um, nice. So yeah, Milton Erickson. So Milton Erickson was, had a very interesting style that is used today and I use it today. And a lot of the times it was very, it was very permissive. He didn't use direct commands that often. It was more, you may find yourself naturally implementing these strategies in the best way for your business. Allow your mind to discover the most effective path to your goals. It's, it's essentially allowing your unconscious to figure it out for itself, allowing your elephant to figure out the best way. Because again, your conscious mind is actually quite limited compared to the unconscious. So you don't always need to tell it exactly what to do. You can just trust it to figure out the best solution the best way. A great example of that is my conscious mind didn't feel comfortable not doing my morning routine, not meditating, et cetera, when it came to the ayahuasca event. But my unconscious just took me, my unconscious knew better. He knew I shouldn't be wasting time doing that on that day. I just needed to take action and get things done. And he did it. So trust your unconscious to get things done. All right. So that's the 10 ways to speak to your unconscious mind, your elephant. Do we, all, we all got that. Okay, so let's move on. All right. So once you've done that, there are, there are different ways to write your own script, okay? To write out what you want. And I thought I'd make it really easy for you. The easiest way to write a script is to use this AI prompt that I've been testing. You just tell it AI. I, I like to use Claude or if you use chat GPT, it should work too. You just say, create a hypnotic script without the induction, without the induction, because I'm going to teach you an induction that's fast and easy and simple to help me. And then whatever you want it to do. Use Milton, Milton Erickson and Dr. George Pratt's techniques in them to ensure maximum effectiveness. All right. This is, this is an easy way for you guys to do it. I say Milton Erickson's techniques because that's the type of hypnosis that, that I've studied and that I do, and it works for me. And I use Dr. George Pratt's techniques because that's what I've studied and that's what it works. It works for me and works for my clients. Other... Other people might say other things. This is what works. So copy and copy that script. So for example, Pietro, what is something that you would want to get from um, self-hypnosis? What's something you want to change or accomplish? Uh, would I identify with yourself, like making more content um, that it's genuine and it uh, resounds with people? Great. So with something like that, I'd recommend that you be specific on what does making more content mean? Does it mean once a week? Does it mean twice a week? Does it I mean three reels? Be very specific. Okay, your elephant likes specificity. And then you also might want to say, you know, you want to have fun with it. You want to enjoy it. 
as well. So you'd write, create a hypnotic script without the induction to help me make this amount of content on this platform. And I absolutely love it and make it be, you know, fun, exciting, and viral, for example. Use Milton Erickson and Dr. George Pratt's techniques in them to ensure maximum effectiveness. Give that a go. Does that make sense, Pietro? Yeah, right. it does. Right, so that's, that's an easy hack to get your hypnotic scripts. Um, I have also created a um, hypnotic script template that I'm going to share with you all, and you're going to get an opportunity to use that in a minute, which is like a fill in the blanks. A fill in the blanks thing that you can do in a minute. I've just, I figured I'll just make this as easy as easy and as simple as possible for you guys. All right. So step two, falling into trance the easy way. So once you know what you want to change, you know, you know what you, what you, what the point of you doing hypnosis is here, then you, you're going to write out a script first, or at least have an idea in your mind, what you're going to say. And then you want to get into the trance. So there are hundreds of ways to get into a trance from what I understand, hundreds of ways. Um, but according to Dr. Richard Bandler, the fastest, easiest, quickest way to get into a trance is something that you, if you've ever done any work with me before, James, Travis, Chris Chico, who else is on here? Uh, even uh, Naveed, uh, um, thank you, Yosef. Um, of, you know, other people who've done work with me here, Ivor, you'll, you'll, this will be very familiar to you. Quickest, easiest way to get into a trance, take your right hand, put it underneath your left armpit. Take your left hand, put it underneath your right armpit. Bring your chin to your chest, close your eyes, breathe in for four seconds, breathe out slowly through your mouth for eight seconds. In for four, out for eight, three to five times, keeping your chin down, arms underneath, eyes closed. Quickest, easiest way to be relaxed and into a trance. In through your nose for four, slowly out through your mouth for eight. That's it. If you've ever seen Dr. Richard Bandler, he has this weird thing where he'll literally just grab someone's neck and put it down and they put into a trance. Have you seen that? Anyone seen that? It's like the craziest thing ever. He just like put your head down, trance. Weird. <laughs> um, yeah, but essentially it's calming down your nervous system, getting completely, the more relaxed you are, the better. That's it. I don't know why it's called a trance. Yes. Well, that, that's what it is. It's not that, it's not that crazy. So once, once you're in that, trance, you're in that position that I just shared, that's the easiest way to get in there, then the next thing to do, which is optional, this is an optional thing, is what's called the countdown method to deepen the trance. Now, what the countdown method is, is you're in your position, you're in your trans position, you've breathed. If you feel like your your mind's still active, if there's still chatter, if your mind's still a bit active, if you're not completely relaxed, or if you like just really want to make sure you're deep and settled into a trance, you do this method. I would argue that the, I would argue. This is really the most important part of your hypnosis. Because if you're in a deep trance, what the language that you use, you, the way that you talk to your elephant is, is very likely to work. But if you're not completely relaxed in a deep trance, it, it's not going to be as effective. So it is worth, in my opinion, it is worth taking some extra time to deepen the trance. 
because this is what's going to make it super effective. So you deepen the trance by doing the countdown method. And that is simply, you're in your position, and then you imagine a number 10. There's a, the number 10 right in front of you. And then imagine it drop down to number nine. And as you imagine it drop down, notice yourself go deeper into a trance. And then imagine the number nine drop down to a number eight. And as it drops down to number eight, allow yourself to relax deeper into a trance. And then the same with number eight to number seven. And then number seven to number six. Each time the number goes down, feel yourself drop deeper. Then what you can do is, let's say you're at a five. You can imagine the five now going to a six. And as it goes to a six, you notice you come, out, come slightly out of the trance. And then you drop back, back down to five and back down to four and down to three. And then maybe you go back up to four and then notice how you come slightly back up to four. And then back down to two, down to zero. And you can go all the way down to a negative 10. Does that make sense? This is a technique to get deeper into the trance. When you're starting out, I highly recommend doing this. After you've practiced um, it for a while, you're probably not going to need to do this. You're just going to go straight. Like when I do it, I'm just straight down in there. I don't, I don't need to do this anymore. But this is an effective technique. It's called the countdown method. Have we got any questions on that? No. That's the, the beautiful thing about self-hypnosis. It, it's really simple. It's not. It's really simple. And it's really quite easy to do. It really is. All right. I think we are actually going to do it now. Is it time? Step four, program your mind. So once you're in the trance, you're completely relaxed. That's when you program your mind. That's when you start to talk. You can use the script. You can record the script in advance. So you can just listen to it. Or you can just start chatting to yourself. Start saying what you want. and Start chatting to yourself without a script. Once you're done, you open your eyes. And you're ready to execute. It just works. Is everyone with me? Is everyone ready to give it a go? All right. Oh, and like I said, you can record your favorite script. Just record it nice and slow, nice and relaxed. And get yourself in a trance and just listen to it while you're in the trance. That's what I do. I, um, I listen to the same hypnosis track every night. But then if, if there's something specific that's different, like I, I want to perform a certain way um, the next day, uh, then I, I might just make one up for myself that night. If I want to like fill up an ayahuasca event, for example, I'll just, that night, I'll just go to bed and create my own hypnosis. All right, so let's try it. So... You can build your own script, so you can go to your favorite AI, build your own script, or I got to put a link here. Bum, 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 bum. There's a link. I'll share it with you right now. And this is a template on how you can create your own script. Okay, so there's a link in the chat. There's a template on how to create your own script. Or if you can't be asked to do that, I've made it even easier for you. And I've created 20 scripts for you that are already done. You can just pick one of them and give it a go yourself. So you might be like, well, Mark, how am I going to... How am I going to remember the script once I'm in a trance? Don't worry about it. You're going to focus on getting on your trance and then just, you know, do your best. Just get the gist of the script and then just riff on it. The key is really getting as deep, deep as you can. Okay, in the trance. 
So what I was planning to do in this session, I was like, man, I could either walk them through the hypnosis and talk them through it myself. But then I was like, well, then you're not actually going to try it on your own. I prefer for you just to give it a go on your own and then come back with any questions. Does that make sense, everybody? So the plan is I'm going to give you about 15 minutes. I'll play some nice music. I'm going to give you 15 minutes. You can create your own script or you can pick one of the scripts that I've just shared with you. You're going to put yourself in a trance. Right arm under left arm. Chin to chest. Close your eyes. Breathe in through your nose for four. Out through your mouth for eight. After you've done that three to five times, use a countdown method. See you number 10. Drop down to number nine. Number eight. As low as you want. You can get to zero and you're good. And then start giving your elephant some suggestions. Chris Chico, do not do this in the car. This is not... <laughs> do not do this in the car. You'll have to watch the recording and try this later. Um, that is unsafe. But everybody else, give it a go. Does everyone feel like they can do this? We've got any questions, any, any concerns, or are we ready for 15 minutes of hypnotizing yourself, programming yourself to win? Yeah, I have a question. Yes. So you, you, create, you want us to right now use your script, or you want us to create our own right now? Up to you. It's up to you. Okay. And the first link you sent is the, is the are they both the same link or the front? I've sent one link, which is like a temp, like um, a fill in the blanks template. Um, I've sent another link, which is some scripts that I've already created that you can use. And then there's another, and the, or you can use the AI to create your own. Okay, great. Sounds great. Sound good, guys? By the way, if you do in the end of the slash edit, if you do slash copy, people can create, just copy it into their own Google Drive. Oh, what? Oh, really? Yeah. Where do I put the slash copy? After just edit, before edit, like instead of edit, you can do yeah. plus, you know, just populate. Oh, ah, thank you. I did not know that. That's a, that's a deep hack. Thank you. All right. So we will be done. One more at, question. Yes. Um, should we be reading it aloud to ourselves or just reading it in our heads? So that's a good question. So just have a look at the one that you like and just remember it as best as you can. Because if you open your eyes, you're going to come out with a trance. Oh, yeah. You just want to keep your eyes closed and remember it as best as you can. Um, what you're probably going to do after is find your script, record it for yourself. You know, speaking in a nice, relaxed, low tone with plenty of gaps. And then you'll listen to that while you, after you put yourself in a trance. That makes sense? Yeah. You could also, uh, if you guys want to do it quickly, record it. You can just use AI to make, read it out for you if you want. 11 Labs, based on there, you can listen to it. Can you post that link, please, Joseph? Sure. All right, so I'm going to come check you guys out at 4.10 p.m. Eastern time. Thank you, Chris. I'll play some nice music. I had to laugh on this one. Remember I told you about procrastinations? Yes. Because I build so much AI automation in the research. That's my procrastination. <laughs> what, what are you procrastinating on? Um, no, my procrastination is with AI because I build, I build up so much AI automation for the e-commerce bits clients I work with. Oh, so okay. now I, now I have to go back into AI when I'm trying to block it out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, get I get you. I get you. Okay. All right. Let's, let's listen to some nice, nice music here. minutes. Uh, 
don't think the audio is playing.
five minutes left.
Okay. Should be about done. James. Yeah. You get it done? I did. Cool. How are you feeling? Feeling good. Nice. nice. Chris. You get it done? Yep. How was it? Uh, pretty good. Uh, I created it in Lemon Lab. I already had my voice, my voice already quite in the lab, so it just fed right in. Great. Yeah, you heard your voice. Ivor, how about you? Uh, yeah, it was good. I um, recorded it. Uh, I used ChatGPT in my goals and uh, with, uh, with the style the hypnotists and um yeah it was amazing actually uh, i didn't get through the whole thing because it took me 10 minutes to record it but um okay but i did half of it so yeah all right cool so the the what i recommend you all do is once you've got your script down that you're happy with it record it whether you use the ai 11 labs or whether you record it yourself Record it, and then before you go to bed at night, listen to it. Um, it's when I got that um, ayahuasca thing, that event done in the day. I just I didn't record anything. I just got into the trance and then started giving myself some direct commands and. Um, some of the other techniques that we we discussed today um, in my mind, just talked to myself and then came out of it. And the next thing you know, I wake up and I'm on autopilot. That works. But for my other goals, for like my longer term goals, on some things that aren't just going to happen in the day, that's when I listen to a recording over and over again. And like most things in life, if you're really trying to transform your self-image, you as a person, repetition is key. Okay. Um, do we have any questions or? You yeah. Have... Uh, you said there were two questions. So how long is your typical meditation? Like how long do you typically let me last for? Number two, you said you were going to do the first part of the meditation, the conduction or something like that. You said the first, uh. You were going to show us one of the a way to do it? The induction? Yeah, the induction. Oh, that, that's the induction. Okay. That's the induction. Okay. And that's how you get into it. Breathing in for four, out through your mouth, in through your nose for four, out through your mouth for eight. And then optional is then the countdown technique. Okay. That's it. How long is it normally for? Um, if it's for like something specific that I want for the next day, for example, how I want to behave in the next day, then a couple of minutes for my goals. It's, um, it's about 10 minutes, 10 to 12 minutes, the track. Now I'll be more specific. So what I do for myself and for some of my clients, like, Travis, you're in Transcend VIP, so this is something I'm going to do for you. And that is, I take my own alchemy of self, which I have all of my clients create. So James, you've done your alchemy of self. Chris Chico, you've done your alchemy of self. Travis, you're working on your alchemy of self. And Naveed, who's, he's done his alchemy of self. That's, a, that's step one. We all do the alchemy of self because you need to know what you want to, who you want to be and what you want to accomplish in life. And then, because then we can start building your self image. Then what I do is I'll take one of my clients alchemies of self and I'll create a hypnosis specific for that. And that's what I do for myself. I got my own alchemy of self. I create a hypnosis script specific for everything I want to achieve on there. And it, I think my, my track is like, 12 minutes, 10th, the one that I listen to each night. I also 
put in the induction part of in mind just because like, oh, you know, we'll do like this, count down. And then it goes into it's about 12 minutes all in. Don't take long. Regarding the alchemy itself, do you have like a question that you fill out or is that something that you can share or? Well, you know what? I will share that in much more detail um, because if anybody is, that is the end of 